I can't swear with my life, baby. I've never cheated on you. I can't cheat on you. Who is feeding you with all these lies? This guy is even so swearing with his life. With your life? Yes. Please give me the phone. What would you call this? Is this not you? Or is this photoshopped? Is this not you and Benita in the classroom? Was this not today? Answer me, Jerry. So you're behind this? Jerry. This relationship is over. No. Don't talk to me again. Baby, no, no, please don't do that. Listen. Benita lured me into that. It's not like I did it intentionally. I'm sorry. You know how much I love you. I can't cheat on I'm you. I'm not please. going back to you. No. This relationship is over. Don't talk to me. Please. Oh, please leave me alone. Don't touch me, Jerry. Leave me alone. Please. Listen. I can do that. Daddy. Leave this. Why are you kneeling down? Are you why are you crying? Daddy, uh, someone gave her, she gave me a wrist to watch to keep for her. So I'm mistaken in his place date. Now the end of the wrist watch is all over. <sighs> Jerry. Jerry. Why will you be this careless? Huh? To the mistake, Dad. And look at what you have put her through. Huh? How much is the watch? The owner said it's 6,000 euros. Okay, stop crying. I'll give you the 6,000 so that you can replace the watch. And you, next time, you'll be careful when they give you something to keep. Right. Uh, uh, and you are not a stock keeper. You must not keep everything. Right. How much did you say? Oh, 6,000. It's not children of nowadays. Yeah, six thousand. Oh, please watch. Oh, thank you so much. I hope they see you. You're welcome. Go. Stop that. Thank you, sir. You. Stop it. I've seen your friend Lizzie in school. Till now. Jerry, how do you expect her to come to school with such a idiot? How do you expect her to come to school after all the pains and shame you brought upon her? Jerry, I am honestly disappointed in you. A girl that loved you with all her heart, and all you could do was to cheat on her with that. Idiot. <laughs> that dog girl. Yeah. <laughs> but I apologized. If you must know, she has been crying and she's in deep pain ever since we left your house. Whatever happened wasn't intentional. I'm, I'm deeply sorry. How do I make her understand that I'm truly sorry? Jerry, you should have thought about the pains that this is going to have before venturing into it. If you must know, Lizzie is in deep pains and that is why she's not in school. Bless you, bless all of them, man. 
Black is on my mat. No. you hurt me like this. I took you so highly. I trusted our love so much. But you just you just broke my heart. My heart's just shattered, Jerry. How could you do this to me? How could you have people do this to me, Jerry? After all that we've been through. I love you. Please trust me. It will never happen again. Please. But it did happen. It did. They did not. You chose Benita over me. Why? Why? No, no, just no, go no. and be with her. I don't want anything to do with you again. Whatever happened between me and Benita was a mistake. And it will never happen again. What Please. mistake? What stupid mistake? Was I a fool for falling in love with you? Is love foolishness? Huh? How could you do this to me? I don't want you again. Jerry, just go. Leave me alone. And stop begging me. My Please. Love, accept my apologies. I cross my heart. It will never happen again. I love you more than Benita. Trust me. Stop begging, please. Oh, my love. Uh -huh. Why are you like this? Because of this girl? Forget her. She doesn't even love you. Don't worry, my love. I'm going to pamper you, take care of you more than her. She's wicked. She doesn't love you. That's why she's treating you like a trash. Look at the way you're kneeling down. You don't have pity for your man. Why? What has he done to you? Now tell me, sweetie, what did you do to her? Other men do worse than this to their women and they forgive them. Why can't you forgive him? If you say you love him, why can't you forgive him? Love, forgiveness is the highest form of love and yet you cannot forgive him for that. Just this little thing. Oh, sweetie, please just forget about her. Forget about her. She's a wicked girl. You're wicked. Maybe You're I'm wicked. Sorry. He's not sorry. He's not sorry. He's not sorry. He's mine. I'll take care of you. I will love you. I will do everything for you. Baby. Baby. Which baby? Baby. baby me, baby me. Jerry, me, me, look at me. Look at me, let her go. Look at me, baby. Jerry. Lizzie. Jerry. Lizzie. Jerry, look at me. Look at me. Jerry, just let her go. I said, do me, do to me when you want to do me. Love me, kiss me. I'm going to leave this place. Oh, Jerry, I won't leave you. I won't leave you. I'm not going to leave you. I won't leave you. Lizzie, where have you been? Look at how swollen your eyes are. You must have been crying again. Lizzie, I told you to get over this. And I know that it's not easy to get over it. You just have to try. Look at today. You missed the test and everything that was taught in class. You can't continue like this. My heart is heavy. Jerry has been looking for you everywhere. I think he's sorry for what he did to you because I saw him in a remorseful state. I was sitting down somewhere and he walked up to me and knelt down begging for forgiveness but I did not give him listening ears. You see, I think he's really sorry because when I saw him his face was filled with guilt. I think he's sorry for what he did. Lizzie, please give him a second chance. Try and forgive him. Jerry should just leave me alone. He should let me be. I don't want him again. I'm fine on my own. You are not fine. You're not fine because look at you. It's so obvious. Ever since the both of you had these issues, you've been like this. You've not been able to focus. Remember, our senior work is coming up and you have to focus. So please just try and forgive him so that you can get yourself back. Please. 
please. It's just it's just because of you that I want to forgive him all. If not, I would have just called it a break forever. You know, I don't like when someone takes my love for granted. I know, right? So where is he? Somewhere behind the SS2 block. Let's go see him so you can tell him that you're forgiving him. Let's go. It's okay, shut up. Thank you. You. Forget about her. I love you. I've told you. You make love to me. Do anything you want to do to me. I'm all yours. She doesn't even have experience. I will take care of you, baby. I will do anything. Jerry! <laughs> You'll be penetrating again? After. No, no, no. It's, it's not what you think. Jerry, then explain. Not again, my love. Forget about her. It's not what you think. My love. Have you seen what you cost? Forget about her. I love you. Have you seen what you've cost? I love you. Let's have it. Leave my wife alone. Leave me alone. Leave my life in good nonsense. I said go. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. I love you. I love you. I love you. We'll die here. You don't know me. I love you. We will die here. I will bleed for you. I will do anything for you. I love you. Let me just go and treat myself. I'll come back to you. You go nowhere. We are going to die in this love together. You're fucking my life. I love you. I love you. I love you. I don't love you. No, that I love you. Nita, if you like, I want to die. I don't know why Jerry is doing this to me. How can... How can a man that took my virginity away from me treat me with so much hatred? Does he hate me? I don't know what I did to Jerry. I feel like I want to die. Please, it's okay. I am short of words. I, I don't even know what to say. Even when you've decided to forgive him, the worst has happened before your very own eyes. What is even wrong with that Jerry of a guy? I did not want to forgive him. But oh, you pleaded. I decided to forgive him, but now look! My heart has been broken again. I feel like I want to die. You will not die. Don't say that, okay? Nothing is going to happen to you. It's okay. Could this be love? Then why is my own love like this? Eh? Is this how love is? It's okay. It's okay. You just have to put yourself together. It's okay. Stop crying. <laughs> okay. Jesus. Benita. Mm. What happened to you? That is mm -hmm. Hi! Who beat you up like this and inflicted this injury on you? Who did you fight with? I didn't fight with anybody. I, I, I had an accident. The bike man escaped. Jesus. Hi! People are very wicked. Eh? All these hit and run away uh, 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 drivers. Eh? How can someone do this to you and run away? Eh? What if you were dead? I'm in pain. I'm in pain. I'm in pain. I have blood over my body. I, I, I'm sorry, my daughter. I'm in pain. Huh? I'm daughter, whosoever that do this to you, we never go unpunished. God will punish the person. God will punish the person. Huh? Yes, go to let's go to the clinic. Okay, let's go to the clinic. No, the person that did this will die. The person that did it to you must die. The person must die. No, you will not die. The person will huh? not die. Say the person will not die. The person will not die, Mama. I said, let's go to the clinic now. Mama, I said, the person will not die. Okay, the person will not die. Are you okay now? Yes, the person will not die. Hi! Jesus. Oh, what kind of thing is this? What kind of sickness is this that got on you, my daughter? Eh? What is this? Mama, everywhere is just paining me. My heart hey. is paining me. I'm sorry, my daughter. Eh? Even all the medications I'm giving to you, the, the pain relief, one of them is even showing sign of relief. Eh? What do I call this one? Which one? Give me hand casting. Where is this one coming from? Eh? Hi. Mm. Maybe I will just go to that woman. I will tell her 
to change her then. Please, please, my daughter. Hey, let her give me something stronger. Hey, I'm coming. Just take, no, stop shivering. Hey, I'm coming, please. At least something better. Yeah? And stronger too. Hey. Please stop shaking. <laughs> Mama? Uh -huh. Ma, good day, ma. Hi, uh -huh, Jerry. Ma? How are you? I'm blessed, ma. Please, is Lizzie in? Yes, uh, Lizzie's not feeling fine. She's been ill since she came back from school. What? She has been shivering, eh? Complaining of headache, heart everywhere. But my daughter is in pain. Oh, so sorry about that, ma. I'm even running up to go and get her medication. Okay. Mm. Can I at least see her? Mm -mm. Come back later. Eh, at least let me get her something to bring down her temperature. You know? Okay. Well. Mm. Say me well to her. Please, she will hear. Well, my girlfriend is lying in the hospital critically ill. You are here. Just pray nothing happens to her. If not, God will not forgive you. Jerry, God will punish you. Even when she wanted to forgive you, you went ahead to commit another crime. God will punish you, oh, womanizer. Look at you. I don't even know what she saw in you. It's not like you are even fine. I don't know what she saw in you. It's your kangaroo face. Rubbish. <laughs> Baby, my love, I'm sorry for everything. I'm sorry. I just wanted to know that I love you so much. And no matter what you did to me, even what you did to me the other day, I've forgiven you. Just give me the opportunity to show you that I love you and to be my boyfriend. Please, baby. Please. I love you. Baby. Mm -hmm. Ah! 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 Police to stop putting no concern on I saw your mother on my way back from the school and she told me you're you're back from the hospital. How are you feeling? <laughs> Anita. Love can kill. Love is dangerous. I realized that today. Mm. If not, then my mother took me to the hospital and I was attended to immediately. My BP would have risen so high. Really? Do you know the doctor that treated me? How to scream. Jesus. Did he get to that extent? I swear. Ha! Ah. Love is dangerous. I regret ever falling in love, Vanita. I regret it so much. Did you see Jerry today? Lizzie, can you for once forget about Jerry? Jerry is so wicked and heartless. Look at your current condition because of Jerry. What if you had died? Would you be here asking about Jerry? I know I loved Jerry. Loved. But now, I don't love him again. Better. I regret ever falling in love with Jerry. Good. And I'm not going back to him again. Yes. Yes. Lizzie, listen to me. God will give you your own man. A man that will love and cherish you. Just forget about Jerry. But Anita, you know that our love, our love is worth more than any amount of money in the world. No amount of money can buy the love Jerry and I shared. Our love is worth more than material things, Anita. 
I don't know why Jerry did this to me. I don't Lizzie, know why he hurt me so much. Easy, you just have to forget about Jerry. So you don't hurt yourself the more. Forget about this guy. This guy does not hurt. It, it doesn't hurt you. I'll try. You have to. He texted me. Who? Jerry. Jerry again? Let me read it out. Baby, I'm sorry for everything. I was not thinking straight. Please give me a second chance and I'll make it up to you. Please forgive me and give me a second chance back in your life. That is rubbish. Total rubbish. You are not giving him any second chance. Opportunity, they say, comes but once. The opportunity you gave to him, he did not utilize it. So you're not going back to him. It's okay. Have you taken your drugs? Yes, I have. My mother forced me to take it before she left for the market. Oh, sorry. Oh, it's okay. You'll be fine. Huh? Oh. I don't even like Benita. It's you I love. I think she uses charm on me. Because I don't understand how I normally fall for her against my wish. Please, I'm begging. Forgive me. It will never happen again. You... And if you think it's because of that useless text message you sent to her, you think I did not see it? You think I did not see the lies you wrote? Jerry, you are failed. Because she's not going to forgive you. Go and continue with that Benita of a girl and leave my friend alone. Leave her alone. Why are you doing all this? Eh? What will you gain in spoiling this beautiful relationship? Jerry, I am at peace with my son. I do not have anything against you. I decided to leave love, let me not die an untimely death, and stay alive for my mother who is suffering to take care of me. Give, I am my mother's only child. Baby, give me this last chance. All I ask for is another chance. And it will never happen again. I will never cheat on you again. Please. You heard my friend. She says I should not forgive you. And I will not forgive you. Go and be with your Benita and leave me alone. Will you try? We always share. You better her. Delete and block her number. Stop deceiving her. Don't call her. What did I, what, 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 what did I do this girl? I, 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 are you the one I'm dating? Why are you always pouring some sun inside my garden? Catch us. Are we building a house? My parents went out. They went for a function. And they're not coming back anytime soon. So this is our moment. Cherry, I'm a virgin. For real? Yeah. And uh, I promise to do this with no other person than my husband. The person that will marry me. All right. I promise to marry you. Let me take your virginity. Jerry, you have to swear. Have to swear? Yes, because I'm a virgin and I promised myself that I would not lose my virginity to any man other than my husband. So you want me to swear? All right, I swear I will not leave you nor cheat on you. I will never abandon you for any other woman. I promise to marry you. I will be your husband. I swear. Are you happy? Come, let's do it. <laughs> Said to me, I don't know what I'm doing, baby. I don't know why this had to happen. I don't know why this had to be me. 
my best friend and my lover. I'm being foolish. I'm not supposed to work easy after all the promises I made. I took her virginity yet and broke her heart. God. How do I right my wrongs? Especially now that she has completed it. Look what Cherry is doing. Cherry! Leave him. Leave him. Of Jerry. Jerry is a liar and is an emotional abuser. Please don't forget what happened the last time. If you continue like this, you are going to end up dying before your time. Stop it. I'm trying. Okay. I'm trying to forget about Jerry. I'm trying to get my mind off Jerry. But the more I try, the more I realize that I love him even more. What do I do? It's okay, Lizzie. It's okay. You just have to move on with your life. Stop thinking about Jerry. Just try and get Jerry off your mind, okay? Stop crying. It's okay. It's okay. Oh, no, no, no. You can't do it. Stand up. You know you're in school. Lizzie, stand up. Lizzie. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. What do you do that for? What did he do? They kissed. Ah! Ah! Wow, wow, <coughs> Best student of the year. Well done. <coughs> if I slap you. You can't do anything. You get mad. Let our form teacher come. I will tell him what you did. You want to report me? Yes. You want to report me? Yes. Yeah. See. I'm going to send a secondary school with this. Yeah. Go collect motor. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> collect motor. You want to report me? Try our best. Baby, don't mind him. It's just jealous. Jealous. Yes. I will do it again. Mm. Ah. <laughs> Ebuka, I want you to learn how to mind your business. I want that. Eh? Not just kiss. Just kiss. God kiss. Why won't you call kiss? Ebuka, sit down, my friend. Is this place a chalet or where you can do anyhow? My friend, sit down. Sit down. You don't get talk. Eh? He will beat you. Meet our new Uncle Romeo and Auntie Juliet. This boy a fool. This boy a fool. This boy a fool. Hey, what for? Who no get relationship for this class? So, can you know it? Baby, baby. You know what? Giving you my heart was the best decision. <laughs> I never knew you were this romantic. I am. <laughs> I will love you forever, okay? Are you sure? Yes, now. And you are the best thing that has ever happened to me. I love you so much. Oh, <laughs> <I take> <laughs>
Banana, you are licking like <laughs> Now, what are you? I think it's very good. You look good. I'm stuck like that. Dizzy, what is wrong? Why are you crying? What is it? Did you not see them? Did you not see Jerry and Benita? What they were doing? Why is Jerry treating me like this? Why is Jerry treating me like I'm some trash? What does he see in that girl, Benita? What? I am going to forgive Jerry because I cannot allow some stupid girl to take my man away from me. Forgive you. You will do no such thing. Lizzie, where's your pride as a woman? Jerry should be the one apologizing to you and not the other way around. Listen to me, you can't, you can't just, you can't keep on making yourself look so cheap before Jerry. But I don't know what to do. I love Jerry and I need to have my peace of mind. I need to, I need to be happy. Don't I deserve it? You have to forget about this guy, Lizzie. Forget about this guy. It's obvious he doesn't love you. Forget about him. No, I'm going to apologize. You will do no such thing. Apologize to me. Jerry should be the one apologizing to you. For you everywhere in school I did not find you and I've been waiting for you in your house don't tell me you went to apologize to Jerry like you told me earlier on oh. I feel so bad I feel I feel pains in my heart anytime I see my Jerry with that then it's a I don't want to lose the same man that took my virginity away with a vow. Lizzie, come on. Not every woman will end up with the same man that took their virginity. You just have to move on, okay? You just have to move on and forget about Jerry. I can't. We promised each other so many things. We promised each other love forever. Look are you talking about love like he truly exists. It's obvious that Benita has taken over. So you just have to focus, you just have to move on. After all, men are distractions. So let's focus on our education. Leave Jerry alone. Stop thinking about Jerry, please. I am in love, Vanita. I cannot get Jerry off my head. Can you not understand that? It's okay. Leave me. I'm tired, I want to be please. You just have to stop thinking about Jerry. Oh, she's so 
Lizzie, where are you going to? We are not done with what we are doing. Lizzie! Jerry, enough of this nonsense. I want to see you outside now. Huh? Are you mad or something? You want to see my man, my boyfriend, outside? You want to take him to God knows where? Don't you have respect or what? You don't have respect? Benita, shut up! Yeah? Yes! Give them now! Let's fight. I should have forgiven him. I should have just forgiven him when he asked to when he asked me for forgiveness. It's so clear that I'm madly in love. I should have forgiven him, Anita. Lizzie, you know what? Sometimes I don't understand you. Ever since Jerry cheated on you, he has never shown any remorse. Rather, he chooses to run after um, Benita. But look at you, you're here talking about forgiveness. Listen to me, you better stop wasting your time because it's of no use. I have to do this to satisfy my conscience. I cannot allow Benita to take my man away from me. Everyone in this school is seeing me as a weakling and someone that cannot fight for her rights. I have to do something. Pride aside, I am a girl who is madly in love with someone. I love Jerry so much. I have to do everything in my power to take my man. I cannot allow Benita to take my man from me. Lizzie, no, 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 no. I have to forgive Jerry. Can you I hear yourself talk? You have to forgive Jerry. Same Jerry that has never shown any remorse since he cheated on you. As for me, I will never do that because I see that as a letdown. And there are thousand and one men out there. Jerry should be the one apologizing and not the other way around. I love Jerry and I will forgive him. If I'm going home, don't follow me. Lizzie, you have to listen to me. I'm sorry, Jerry. I still love you. Listen, listen, my love. I wronged you. For that reason, I should be the one apologizing, not the other way around. Love does not count errors. I don't want us to know who is wrong. I want to forgive you with my whole heart. I will go back to how we were before. Thank you very much. You and I forever. Are you sure? Yes. This applies that you will never have anything to do with Benita again. Yes, I will never have anything to do with Benita again. What if I see both of you together again? In that case, you can do whatever you want. So you went to make up with her? Eh? After everything you promised me, you went to make up with her. And so? Huh? She's my first love and I met her before you. So? Am I the first person to do promise and fraud? Eh? You told me that you've been sleeping with guys from JSS1. Now tell me, if all the guys you've slept with kept to their promises, would you have met me? No. So, promise and fail is part of life. Don't even use that against me, please. And you, you are even using it against me. Why will I see all those people that promise me? Is it because I told you the truth? Now you are using it against me. I love Lizzie. Simple. Ha! So, what will that happen to me now? Listen, I will date both of you 
on one condition. You will keep your honor on a low. Yes. Uh -uh. You won't make yours loud because if she finds out that I'm dating you, I will leave you. Uh, this is not fair. Why would I be the one to keep my own on the low? This is not nice. This is not nice. You just imagine the way you're talking to me as if I'm not a human being. This is not nice, oh. Please leave before my dad comes here. Leave now. Promise and fail is part of life. Leave. Talk me first. This is our family house. Please leave. Leave now. Leave now. Okay, are you okay? Go, go, go. My dad might come out. Let's go. You did the one to hide to, to down. It's not me. What do I do? What do you say? Talk to me now. And she will hide, not me. Go, leave now. My dad might come out. I want a dinner. Divorce. 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 Tomorrow with Lizzie. Mm -hmm. As for me, it's the girls in question that I blame. They are just too shameless. Well, anyway, my own is to mind my own business. Yeah. I'm concentrating my studies. Me, I know if you got a fight for Manu. Ah, uh, Proko, mind your business. Cause it. Uh uh, why would she lose? So, Grandma, you just let me see. Like, like. Please. 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 No, 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 let me wait for this class. Oh. Hey, hey, so this one's going to be. Come on, sir. Last thing I found you. If not because of nothing, let's say. Now. I swear. Yes, this guy, you're frustrated. They'll suspend in this school one day. Where did you get where they come now? Serious students. Why can't you keep my head? Every time, shut up. Leave them. Which first? It's the one that is disturbing me. See, head. Over Sigos. Still, they will not carry first. Help, help. But, yeah. Bad boy. Change! 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 Change. <laughs> no, no, this is wrong. You can't come here without my notice. I'm dying inside. You got me jealous in the classroom with what you were doing with Lizzie. Listen, my parents are at home. Be careful. You're not supposed to come here without telling me. I know, but I want you. You know my dad. I said, calm down, my parents are around. I want you. You're going to be jealous. You're going to be jealous. Don't stop touch now. me. Okay, wait, wait, wait. On one condition. What is it? What is it? We'll go to my room and make love. Is that true? You? you know you like shouting while making love. My parents are around. Hope you will not shout.
From Jen S. S. Y. You don't mean. Hey now. All she knows how to do is make love, make love, make love, make oh. love. She will really shock you. You know she's smart. She has gonorrhea now. Don't tell me she has given you gonorrhea. No, 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 no. I always use protection. But even at that, I know she has all sorts of infections. Yes. Ah, forget about Benita. Let's talk about us. First of all, yeah. give me a pen. No, let's go to the Really? Yes. Okay. <laughs> What kind of lie is that one? No. Do you know you just degraded me before that girl? Before Lizzie? Why, why would you do that kind of thing? I was just being diplomatic. It's not like you have sickness or oh, you have good area. No. I was just trying to make her think. And, and degraded me. I don't like it. I don't like this kind of thing. Don't do it again. I don't like it. Don't, don't get me to the chair. I don't like it. Degrade me. I'm not going. I'm not going. I'm not going. <laughs> Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to you. How old are you now? I am plus one today. 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 <laughs> hip, hip, hip. Hooray! Thank you very much. Thank you very much. You're welcome. I love this. Does it smell nice? It smells nice. I know. Thank you. You know, I almost forgot today is my birthday. Really? Yes. I'll do anything for you. Thank you very much. <laughs> so happy birthday. Cherry, happy cherry. Oh my God, happy birthday, Cherry. Ah, I'm just really looking everywhere for you. I didn't know you were here. I get you this for your birthday. Look at this. Da -da -da. This restoration cost me 35,000 naira. I had to use all my pay savings to get you this restoration because I can do anything for you, my love. I hope mm. you like it. Love it. Oh. I know, right? Okay, keep this one. Like it. Mm. 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 Hi, darling. I'll see you around the bee. Cherry, why did you accept the gift? You're supposed to reject it. How can you accept a gift from my enemy? I should reject a precious gift. Yes! On my birthday, because of... Stop. You bought me 200 naira flower. Someone bought me that 5,000 naira watch. And you expect me to reject it? Who does that? Oh, I got the flower out of love and, and you're supposed to reach it. This is fake love, Lizzie. 
when it was your birthday, I stole my father's 50,000 Naira just to make you happy. I made your day memorable. We had fun. Today is my birthday. What do I get in return? A 200 Naira flower? And you expect me to reject? I am being intimidated because of my poor background, Jerry. I thought you said you love me. You're supposed to accept anything I give you. You just spoiled my birthday. What were you thinking while buying this? Flower my fruit. You mean Jerry opened his mouth and said all that to you? He said even more. The worst part is that he said to my face that I was the one that ruined his birthday. Really? That's a slap on your face. See, eh? If not that you're so emotionally attached to this guy, I would have asked you to give it a break. What kind of nonsense is this? Is he not aware that you are from a poor background? Where was he expecting you to get money and buy gifts for him? You know what? Sometimes I just begin to doubt if Jerry truly loves you. I just feel he's trying to play some tricks on you so that I can keep on sleeping with you. I don't I don't know why you accepted a gift from Benita. Is there something still going on between them? It could be, it's possible. You just have to find out. You know sometimes men can be very funny. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for rejecting your gift. I'm not supposed to reject your gift no matter what. Please forgive me. You don't listen to him, eh? It's okay, I'm sorry. Let's go back to the room first. I'm sorry too, baby. I promise to make it up to you for your birthday. Hey! Lizzie! Yeah, I love the dancey too. Yes. I promise to love you forever. Yes. You're mine. I hope you enjoy your birthday. Yes, so. What is going on here? Glad to be here. Oh, I feel like it's my wedding day. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Anita, can you not say I'm with my guy? Today is his birthday and I have to be with him. I know, I understand. But we've overstayed. And my parents must be looking for me by now. Let's go, let's go. Be with me now. Just wait for me. Wait for me. Today is a special day and I have to stay here to be with him on his special day. So what are you insinuating? That we should stay here tonight? Lizzie, let's go, let's go. You know what? Just go. I'll come and see you later. You go, Pano. Is it my fault that you don't have a boyfriend? Because I didn't think you had one. You'll be busy with your boyfriend somewhere and stop disturbing people that I love. It's okay. Please go, John. Go, go, go. It's okay. I'll go before you insult me. She needs a boyfriend. So that while we are chilling, you'll be chilling too. Yes, I know. I know. <laughs> I know how we forward for her. Yeah, get her boyfriend. Jerry, I want to see you. Say him for what? Whatever you want to say, say it here and run along. Yes, the love of my life is right. Whatever you want to say, say it here. No problem. If you say so. Here is the remaining condom you used yesterday in my house. Cherry! Cherry! Do I even know your house? Why are you doing this? No, what's the meaning of this? If you like, you pretend all you like. It is not my business. Take your condom. You can dramatize the whole life, baby. I'm spoiling this relationship. Cherry, what is this? What is going on? Why do you still go behind my back to cheat on me? Have I ever deprived you of sleeping with me anytime you want? Why do you do this to me, Jerry? What is your problem? Baby, are you falling for this? Come on. You should... She's trying so hard to spoil what we have going on. Trust me. 
Jerry, but you heard her say yesterday the remaining condom you left in her house yesterday. So how do you want to explain that? Baby, Benita is lying. Lies. She lied. She is jealous of our love. She wants to spoil it. Can't you see? Come on, baby. You have to trust me now. Without love, there's no trust. She wants to spoil our love. She's envious of our love. Can't you see? Please stop. Don't fall for that. It's okay. You don't have to explain anymore. Mm. I trust you so much. And I believe in you. But because you can't trust her, it's no lie. What are you talking about? Listen, she's jealous of our love, okay? Mm. She wants to spoil it so that she can come in for you. No. Don't let that happen. It won't happen. You and I forever. Forever. <laughs> Benita. What? Benita. What? My friend, stop there. What, is it? what was the meaning of that? What eh? was the meaning of that? Must you bring condom before my girlfriend? Yes. I will do anything I can do to make you give me attention. Are you serious? Yes. If I've not done that, will you follow me here? Will you follow me here? But I told you from onset that this thing between us must be on code on a low and you must tread with caution what kind of caution is that one why would i tread with caution why will it be in on only one side why will it be on only one side why see jerry this thing you are doing is not good though. it's not good ever since you made up with that girl you don't even have my time again what is it well this is my main girlfriend now you are my side chick why are you dramatizing on this man? no 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 it's not fair it is, it's, not, it's, not, it's not good. Give what is that break. one? Give the other day, you have to change city position just because you want to be staring at her. Don't you know this thing you are doing is he's hurting me? It is both of us. You have to share it. You have to love both of us. You must keep your own on a low. I no. told you before we started. No, no. I don't like this, so. No, you would don't like Don't try it. that next time. I will do it. Do you want to spoil my affair with Lizzie? That is poor. That is poor. What is that one? I'll be the one that will be a side chick that will be hiding. Give us a break. You'll be hiding me. Give us Look a at break. Me. Give us a break. I will not. I will not. Give us a break. I will not. What is it? You parade, parade with that girl. I will be hiding girl. you. I will not hide. I will not hide. You parading with that girl everywhere. This love will die. The next time I come to that school, I will pack condoms. Many condoms. I will carry the sperm and come and show her. You see now. Go and borrow sperm and come and show her. But the day you put it inside of me, I will drag this sperm. I will show it to her. We die here. Yeah. Nobody is going anywhere. It's me that you want to use to side chick. Look at me. Eh? Gang gang chick. You want to use me as side chick. It will not happen. It will not happen. Try me. I will carry your spell and show it to her. That relationship was scatter. I must be the number one. How are you? I'm fine. We were given an assignment in class, so I came to see Jerry so we can solve it together. Oh, that's good. That's good. Jerry should be inside. Yeah, let's not forget. How did you settle the matter of that watch the other day? We settled the matter amicably. I have to buy another watch for the owner. Thank you so much, sir, for the money you gave me. It really saved us. You're welcome. Okay, what about your mom? She's fine. She's good. Okay. Okay, my son is inside. Can go meet him. Thank you. How are you? I'm blessed. How's the studies going on? Uh, well, we are trying to. So, a few questions. Yeah. Okay. I hope you guys know what is at stake here. Your yes. family names are at stake here. So, ensure that you study hard to score high grades. In fact, nothing less than decision. <laughs> yes, sir. Just like your father did. Yes, Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. 
Okay, let me allow you so that you will concentrate. All right, sir. Read the hand, okay? Thank you, sir. Well, um, if you deduct nine mm. from here, yeah. then you subtract three. Mm. That brings us to four x one. Five x. There is something I want to discuss with you. Look at me now. At least put me through in some things you are doing. Okay, see the kind of phone you are using. Ask Jerry, please now. And you know my mom. If you know you have not paid your fees, identify yourself by standing up. You mean you are the only person that has not paid your fees? Again! Why is it always a problem for you to pay your fees every time? Listen, Okoro, why? Now, let me ask you. Have you paid for your work registration? No, sir. And the registration will soon enter late entry. That means you are going to pay double. And you are so relaxed about it. Sir, I am not relaxed. Uh, my mommy is working on the payment. That is your business. The school authority has decided that anybody that is indebted in any way should not remain in class. So you have to take your bag and leave the class. And don't come back until you have made your payment for your school fees and your work registration. Uh, sir, please, can I just sit for today's class? Then when I... The mandate I have that you should leave now. Get the class. Yes, Mr. Jerry, Go with your bag. Class, today we are starting the lecture today with biology. And we are studying reproduction.
Money? Yes. Have you seen any money? I kept 70,000 on this cloth. Honestly, I didn't see any money. <gasps> Honey, I said I kept 70,000 here on the cloth. Will I be lying to you? I didn't see any money here. I only beat your clothes to the wardrobe. Where's Jerry? He should be in his room. Jerry! Jerry! Don't come again. Please Yes. Anyways, I'm going to ask you to Okay, Yes. You get mad. Understand, okay. I said, where is my money? Give me my money! Oga did not see any money. You don't. You a okay. thief. I'm not a you thief. You a thief! And Oga, I did not see any money, Oga. You entered my room while I was in the bathroom and took my money. Give it to me now. No, Oga. I did not enter your room. I did not see any money. I didn't take your money. Ah, I now confirm. That you are not just a criminal, mm, okay. but a hardened one. Okay. I've never searched for money before in this house. Jerry, my son, cannot steal. You are the stranger who can steal money in this house. Okay. Now, let me have that money. Oh, God, I swear it my life. I didn't see you are looking for me. You You think if by this evening, in the next five minutes, you stop this money, I will be with you. Come on, criminal. Imagine! I'm not paying him enough! It's okay. Go around this estate! He's the only person that is being paid that, that is eating very well! Why will he consider to seek my money? And you are telling me it's okay! What is okay here? I'm still wondering. I'm dealing with the thing in my house and you are telling me it's okay! Honey, please! I am just thinking. Yes, Molly. Go and pay for the school fees and come back into the class. Oh my god, Cherry, you did this for me? Yes. Thank you so much. You're welcome. But where did you get the money from? That's not necessary. <sighs> I did this for our love. So go and pay your school fees and go back into the class. There's a test going on and I don't want you to miss it. Thank you so much. God bless you. I'll go pay now. Get your hands off me. I don't love you. I love you. I miss you so much. I don't love you. Stop. I, love you. I, I said I don't love you now. I miss you so much. What is your problem? Why are you following and chasing a man that doesn't even want you? Who thought you doesn't love me? Maybe I'm not talking to you. I, I said leave me alone. Stop. Oh, I love you so much. I don't love you. <laughs> I love you. 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 And you see you, Lizzie. Lizzie, you see you. You cannot take my mom away from me. Don't tell me sorry. Is it your business? You can never take my man away from me. I bet you. 
Husband snatcher. You will not take Jerry! Jerry! I love you! Mwah. 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 I love you! You don't worry. What is it? There is problem. Which problem? I am pregnant. What? How come? I don't know, Tsua. I can't think of anything. I don't know. This is serious. What are you going to do about this? I don't know. The thing is that I love you. I still love you with my whole heart. But my mother, she will kill me if she finds out. I'm scared. I don't know what to do. But something has to be done before it gets obvious. No. Okay. Alright, um, you know what? Just stand by me and you the rest. I trust you. How could you be pregnant for two months in this house? And I, and I don't know about you. Eh? What is it? I'm sorry, it was not intentional. Oh, it was not intentional. Was it under spiritual decision? I'm asking you. Eh? Listen, yes, what did I do to you? Why have you decided to disgrace me and make me a laughing stock in the whole of this town? Eh? Lizzie. Why, after all I suffered to bring you up, is this how you have decided to pay back your mother? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, please. You are sorry. You are sorry. It's okay. Before I close my eyes, I... Oh yeah, about turn. I said before I close my eyes, I open it now, you shall baton. Move straight to that place. Why are you still moping? <laughs> Move. Oh yeah. Good you come to visit us. Okay. Madam. Good, how are you? Good evening, ma. Good afternoon, ma. How are you? Lazy. Your face is not looking bright. I hope all is well. That is exactly why we are here. Lizzie here is pregnant. What? Pregnant? Could she do a thing like that? When I see you as that brilliant and responsible girl, how can you do that to your family? Ha, children of nowadays. <laughs> like I said, Lizzie is pregnant for your son, Jerry. Huh? What? What? My son? That's not possible. Because I know how I brought him up. Yes. It's not possible. Like it's not a man? Even though. Uh, 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 you uh, push you stop accusing my son. Lizzie. Uh, 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 you, you heard your mom. She said you're pregnant. Is that true? Yes, sir. And my son, Jerry, is responsible for it. Yes, sir. <laughs> That's not possible. You push you stop accusing my son. Please, I beg you in the name of God. You should go and look for who got you pregnant, not my son, because I know how I brought him up. You can't just say that for sure. Huh? Before we came to this place, I asked my daughter several times, and she confirmed Jerry is responsible for her pregnancy. No, it's not possible. Uh, 
Jacinta. Yes, sir. I will advise that you go home. By the time my son comes back from the school, I will ask him. Uh, and I know he will tell me what he will transpire. He will tell me. If that will solve the problem. Yes. Oh, good. No use. Yes. Um, Jerry. Lizzie here said that she's pregnant and uh, that you are responsible for the pregnancy. Is that true? Speak up! Talk! Yes, I'm responsible. What? I'm responsible. Tell me that is a lie. Tell me they are lying. Did you hear him? Just in here. Now that my son has uh, admitted that he's responsible. For the pregnancy. I, I will advise that you take it easy home. Yeah, um, I will get back to you. It's okay. I've had you. I'm sure you know. You should be fast with your next line of action. University, 200 level for that matter, and he's still waggling his SS3 instead of him to prepare for his forthcoming examination. What he could do is to get a girl pregnant. Oh, this boy have disgraced me. Ah, I will kill this boy. What do you want to do? I will kill this boy. No, you can't do that. Please. Honey, honey, Jerry has uh, decided to bring shame to this family. He has robbed mold on our faces. I don't know what people will say if they get to hear this. Uh, that's my major worry. That's why I want us to discuss on this issue to save this situation. Possibly Jerry can no more her. Because that would jeopardize everything about his future. So, what do you suggest we do? I suggest we take full responsibility of that girl till she delivers. And also take care of the baby. Hence, we cannot ask her to abort the baby because it's our own blood. Because our son cannot marry that girl. Hmm. Right thinking. Hmm. This is a very nice suggestion. Yes. That's why I love you. Thank you. Hmm. You know what we'll do now? What? We will send a message across to Jacinta. We we'll invite her over. Yes. So that we can tell her what we have decided. Yes. Hmm. That's it. <laughs> right thinking. Come on here. Thank you, honey. <laughs> Lizzie, why? How could you have brought this shame upon yourself and your family? We are about writing an exam and here you are talking about pregnancy. How do you intend to cope? I know. I'm disappointed in myself. I know everybody's disappointed in me. And it was not my plans to get pregnant at this early stage. But what to do? I have to accept my fate as it is. Which God? Lizzie, you are no longer a baby. You could have been more careful. 
I know. I regret. I regret it, but I have to accept my fate at this as it is. What is Jerry saying about it? Jerry asked me to keep the baby because of the love we have for each other. What? He's in the heart of this world. Which man would do something like that? Lizzie, your mother is not going to accept this. And you know, after all our suffering and everything, this is how you want to pay her back. You are not even done with secondary school yet. Talk more via institution and you're already pregnant. Your mother is not going to take this. Think about it. I know my mother will be disappointed in me. But what do I do? Like I said, my mother has to, has to accept my fate. Please. Lizzie, can you listen to yourself talk? So you mean all the suffering of your mother will just go down the drain just like that? Cherry is going to marry me and that is all that matters. All I think about is, is Jerry. Just, just look at you. Listen to me. I'm really not happy with this pregnancy you're carrying, okay? I don't have what to say to you. Excuse me. I'm... Anita, this is not the time to get upset. I'm overwhelmed with your whole situation, but all I can think about now is Jerry. Madam Jacinta, I'm sorry about the disgrace and um, insult, shame our children brought upon us. No, I was uh, expecting them to concentrate on their future, on their academics, and unfortunately, they went astray. And look at where it has brought us to. Nevertheless, it has happened and it has happened. And nothing anyone can do about it. The only thing we can do now is to find a way to manage the situation at hand. Yes. My husband is right. These children can be a green snake in a green grass. Who can believe that with the intimacy of the both families, that they can disappoint their two parents, their both parents? But notwithstanding, we have decided to sponsor her till her delivery and take full care of the baby after delivery. Yes. I, I, I don't get it at all. Please. I don't understand what you mean by taking full charge of my daughter's delivery and after delivery. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Johnson, what I expected to hear is that your son will marry my daughter and take full responsibility. And nothing less than that. Jacinta, my son is too young to go into marriage now. Oh. <laughs> and my daughter is also too young to be a single mother. No, not at this tender age. Huh? Not even when the man that got her pregnant is alive, healthy and hearty. What are you telling me? Uh, I, I don't want you to... Look at it this way. I don't like you to talk like this. Everything we are talking about, everything we've done and we're still doing, is for the good and the future of our children. Don't even tell me that, sir. No! You are not in any way doing anything for the future of our children. You're only protecting the interests of your son and not that of my daughter. Eh? Mr. Johnson, hear me well. Your son will marry my daughter, and nothing less than that. Or are you trying to intimidate me with your status? Anyway, I think I'm ready. Jacinta. No, no, we're not done yet. Where are you going to? Where are you running to? My son is still very tender to go into marriage. And I wouldn't want anybody to jeopardize his future. Yes. Do you understand me? Oh, I had to. Huh? 
But let me make a point here. Your son will marry my daughter. Eh? So he is too young to be a husband, but he is not too young to get my daughter impregnated. Sorry. Where are you going to come? We have not done. We have not done talking. Uh, what is it again to be said? I think I've made my point. And we also made a point. Oh, you've made your point. Okay, let's leave it there. Point to point. Okay, to leave it there. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Shameless girl, you are shameless. Shameless girl, you don't have sense. You are a good for the punisher. So you went to get pregnant for Jerry. You think by doing that, you will now snatch him away from me? Eh? It will not happen. It will never happen. Bet me. What is wrong with you? Won't you mind your business, Madame Gonoria? Who is talking? Okay, backing dog, goat. Fine. If you say I have gonorrhea, that means your friend here, she has gonorrhea too. She's mad and gonorrhea. Let me tell you. Diko, I have told you, it is God that will punish you for this thing you did. You think if you get pregnant, you will not take him away from me. It will never happen. I will not allow it to happen. Me too, I will soon get pregnant. And when I get pregnant, he will not go and meet you. Bet me. Bet me. Husband Nasha, let me shut up. You know what you know. know. Husband Nasha. What is wrong with this about pregnancy? Listen, I will also get pregnant for him because I will never allow this to happen. No sense. Can you imagine? This girl has fish brain. Look at what she's saying. Don't mind her, Beck. Don't mind her. Can you imagine what she's, what she's saying? Jerry, I'm talking to you, Jerry. Jerry, come on. Your parents want the best for you. I'm your friend here. I can't possibly mislead you, Jerry. You getting married now is terminating your future. Listen, I love my girl so much. I can't let her go through all that because of my parents' decision. No. Am I too young to get married? If not for my health condition that slowed me down, by now I should be in the university. Some of my mates are married now. Please. Jerry, your parents want the best for you. Listen, I love Liz so much. I can't abandon her now. I want to go through every stage with her until she puts to bed. So please. Yeah, I see. It's your parents' decision for you are not wrong. It was the best. I cannot abandon the love of my life because of my parents' decision. No this and no peace. Jerry. Class. Good morning, class. You can see them. Lizzie, you can stand up. This is the reason you changed your name from Elizabeth to Lizzie, right? You <laughs> should be ashamed of yourself. It has come to our notice that you are pregnant. Hey. Hey. And this shameful and disgraceful act of yours has tarnished the image of this school and the good record you have kept over the years. So the school authority have decided that you are expelled from this school. Sir, please. I beg of you. Will you shut up your mouth, prostitute? I thought you were here to learn, to help yourself and help your family. Little did I know that you're here to open your letter to any man that tells you I love you. You, be, you, are, you are a big fool to allow yourself to be deceived by ordinary flower language. I, I, I love you, I love you. And you got yourself pregnant. Mm -hmm. You want to be Rumi and Julia? No! <laughs> Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Jerry, stand up. Hey. Man of the class. 
I said, stand up! Now, for putting this young lady in a family with, the school authority had decided to expel you from this school. Wow. Hey, hold on, we're okay. Nine months. You need to go. Who then? I'm sorry for all the pain I caused you. I understand how you feel. But true love conquers all challenges. This too shall pass, okay? I'm sorry. I am so ashamed of myself. Imagine the humiliation we were subjected to. We were humiliated because of true love. And like I said, true love conquers all challenges. These two shall pass. I'm sorry, okay. I love you so much, Jerry. I love you more, Lizzie. this family. How could it be said that a whole Chief Johnson's son is being expelled from school because of his dirty lifestyle? Eh? Mommy, take it easy now. We can still solve it. Sort what out. out! What are you sorting out? Let me tell you, you are the one that spoiled this child. Yes, because at any given time I want to punish him, I want to reprimand him for doing something bad. You will come out and start defending me. You will not allow me. You start telling me, it's my child. It's my only son. It's my only child. Now look at what your only child and only son have brought to us. How can it be that the whole Chief Johnson's son is being expelled from school? How? I'm begging on his behalf. We can still go to the school authority. You will do no such thing. I am not going anywhere. And nobody from this family goes anywhere to that school to go and talk about this irresponsible song. And let me tell you, if you dare me, if you dare me and make call to that school, you will see the other side of me. You have never seen me since we got married. But you will see me if you try this. Nonsense. Honey? Are you going out? Cheer up. Your father is very angry right now. But I'll talk to him, okay? Did you just hear me? Honey? My heart is burning right now, but I say, Yeah, it's for the brain. And I am so afraid. I'm so afraid. I don't wanna lose my lover. So afraid. But I don't know what is happening to so us. Afraid. Don't so, so afraid. Don't so afraid. So afraid. She said to me, boy, come over here. Tell me how you feeling right now, then. You betray my love and you let me down. You are just a chick. I don't know how to face her right now. Can someone tell me what to do? Can someone tell me how to go about it? My heart is so hot. Ever set my eyes on you, my papa. Are you hearing me now? I don't have money to feed you, let alone the one you're carrying in your head. Sit down here, this is your husband's house. 
In fact, take over, occupy. Josita, what's the meaning of this? This guy, come back here. Josita, come back here. I don't know why I forget you. Come back here. Josita, come back here. Look at this woman. All this madness all about. You see what I'm trying to tell you? That girl will not stay in this house. She will not stay here. I'm going right inside here to push her out from this place. She cannot. Let's go inside. Honey, let's go inside, please. Lock this up. Are you doing? Will it off your hand from her? Rubbish! Are you? Start preparing to go to your father's house. What are you still doing there? Get out from there! Oh, oh, oh! oh. I said, get out from there! Oh, so we were busy looking for her inside the parlor. Not knowing that you already have taken her inside the room. Hey, Bano. Okay. If you fail, now, let me tell you. You, in fact. Good woman! Hey! What are you saying? Good woman! Instead of you to concentrate on your studies, Abulu, in one. You keep on impregnating women! Hey! Hey! Honey, don't worry. Listen to me and listen. I give you 15 minutes to take this thing out of my house. Otherwise, you will see the other side of me. You will see the other side. 15 minutes! 15 minutes! Sense. No, 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 I will never allow that. Honey. If he doesn't open that door today, I will do something stupid. Honey. Jerry is just being a child. Mm -mm. He's a baby. Go and bring him and breastfeed him. He's a baby. He's just being childish. I assure you he will definitely open that door. Let's give them a little time. That time is what I don't have. I have little patience. And it has expired. Hence he has chosen marriage over his education. I think he should go out there and make money as a man and get his own house, not under my roof. Hey, honey, please. Don't honey me. Let me go and talk to him. I believe he will listen to me. Please. You better go and talk to your son. Please.
Baby, stop crying, okay? Trust me. I will stand by you till all this is over. You will not be put to shame. We're in this together, okay? We've lost our education and our pride. My love, my angel, true love doesn't count errors. Even if my parents disowns me, I don't care. Even if I lose the whole world, I still don't care. What matters to me is you. I love you and nothing can stop our marriage, okay? But, do you think what we're doing is right? Don't you think we're following the wrong path? No. True love can never go wrong. Let's follow our hearts. Please, I want you to trust me on this, okay? True love counts no errors. True love can never be wrong. Let's follow our hearts, okay? These two shall pass. Come. But, but how about your parents? Don't you think they'll do something? <laughs> not good. Love is about care and protection. My love, I promise to protect you with my last breath. Jerry, it's your mom. Open this door. Mom, I won't open this door until you and dad allows me to marry the love of my life. Over oh, wow. dead body will not allow, allow you to get married to that harlot. Somebody that wants to ruin your life. Is there anything wrong with you? Open this door, Jerry. Mom, she is not a harlot. Stop calling her names. She is the love of my life. Is there anything wrong with you, Jerry? I won't open this door. You want to open this door? Yes. Anyway, your father will get back to you. You will hear from your father. Nonsense. It's either you people allow me to marry the love of my life, or I will never open this door. Jerry. <laughs> Your mother just called me a harlot. Baby, don't take that to heart. It doesn't matter. What matters most is the love I have for you. It's unshakable. So relax, okay? He bluntly refused to adhere to my instructions. Jerry. Jerry. That boy is beating. He's beating more than he can chew. Hmm. I will tell him that I am still his father. Mommy. Just watch me. Mommy, please. 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 Don't try to stop me. Please. That boy has gone wings. Please. And I need to cut it down. I beg you. Please don't do anything stupid. I beg of you. Okay. Watch me. Please. Please. Mommy. Please now. Please. 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 I'm fine. Mama, I want to leave me. I don't understand. You came to see Liz. Were you expecting to meet Liz in this house? Eh? Why are you adding to my agony? Are you expecting me to leave Lizzie under my roof after the shame and humiliation she brought to me? Eh? Mama, I don't understand. How would you understand? How best do you want to understand? If you want to see Lizzie, go to her husband's house. I hope you know Jerry. Eh? You know him. 
go to his house. That is where he stays. Mama, you sent her away. Hey, hey, I will not send her away. Huh? After all, she chose a soul. How can she hurt me in that way? After what it cost me to bring her up. I know what I went through. Now, her aspirations, her dreams, her education, everything has gone down the drain. Everything. With all my sufferings, I go here and there, walk under the sun every day. <laughs> I'm so far. My only daughter, tell me, how am I going to face this shit? Mama, it's okay. Stop crying. I know oh, wait, have my story. Mama, it's okay. I'm so far for nothing. Tell me. Mama, it's okay. Stop crying. Go there. Go to, go to Jerry. That is where she is. Just go. Go, go leave me to my world. Just go. <laughs> <laughs> Jerry! Jerry! Dad. Open this door now! Or I'll break it down and enter it Dad, I won't open this door until you allow me to marry the love of your life. Jerry, do you realize that you are talking to your father in that regard? Is anything wrong with you? Mom, you should explain to dad because you know the meaning of love more. No one can separate us all. Until you guys agree that we are getting married, I'm not opening this door. Don't let me open this door by myself. If I break it down, I will come there and deal with you. You will see the other side of me. What is wrong with this boy? Dad, why are you finding this girl to understand that I'm in love and she's carrying my baby? All that matters to me now is she. You can't change that. Let us get married. Now you enjoy your sleep. Ah, so I give my belly of me so my future don't end. I mean, from all indication, he's not ready to open this door. So the best thing is for us to go back. He's not ready to open it again. Okay. You don't want to open this door under my roof, my own house. Alright, don't worry. I'm coming. I'll deal with you. No! No! How could that son? My own son! Mama, please don't ask me to do that. Calm down. You don't need to son. You're just a child. Please calm down. No, 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 no! No! This can't be happening to me. How could my own son be disrespectful to me? Huh? I never did this to my father. How can my son do this to me? Bringing shame to me? Mom, please. I beg of you. It has got you to this. Please, I beg you. Hmm. I beg you. I beg you in the name of God. Calm down. Be cozyan. Woman, it has come to this. I'll be left with no other option than to disown him and send everything that I have, everything that I've made in my life, to the motherless baby's home. Yes. Please. It hasn't got to It is not a threat, madam. It is a, a promise. That, that's what I will do. Exactly, that's what I will do. No, 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 no. You know this is our only son. He's our only child. I you don't can't care do anymore. This. You can't do this. I don't care the anymore. The only thing we owe him now is to talk to him. It's not about shouting. Please, I beg you. Please, come and sit down. Come, 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 come. Okay? It's okay. It's okay. Hmm? Father wants to disown me because I'm in love and give all his wealth to the less privileged. 
Does that make sense? No problem. He can disown me. But let him give me a little money. Please, I need a little money so that we, we, we move. Jerry, is there anything wrong with you? You want to lose anything? You want to lose everything because of that useless girl in there? Is there anything wrong with you? Mom, stop calling my wife to be a useless girl. You of all people should know about true love. Tell dad that I'm in love. You understand love more. Talk to dad. Make him understand that nothing can separate me and the love of my life. We are getting married by fire by force. So you don't want to open this door, right? Jerry! Jerry! Okay, you know what? You, you will hear from your father. You will hear from your father. Hence, you don't want to open this door. What kind of problem is this? Jerry, you can't get disowned because of me. Huh? Please. Leave my father. That's just a Nisha crap. You cannot disown me and only so. His legacy will disappear. Forget about it. Oh, it's so stubborn. Jacinta. Huh? And since then they refused opening the door. They decided to starve themselves to death. And the worst, my husband has been threatening to disown Jerry if he doesn't open that door. So please. And why are you telling me all this? Because I want you to follow me to my house. Possibly ah. they might listen to you. <laughs> I do no such thing. <laughs> because yeah, stop saying like that. The life, <clears throat> the lives of our children are at stake. I beg you in the name of God, they may listen to you. <laughs> As a, the preacher. Madam Lucy, I have handed off my daughter to you. Eh? To you and your family. Take. In fact, I've washed off my hand like pilot. I be from. <laughs> ah. So this is what you're saying. Hey, no, I am pilot here. I need to eat. I've been hungry, and if I don't, it will affect the baby. You know, I have to eat for two. You're hungry. All right, so I will be right back. Just be careful. I don't want you to get into an argument. Sleeping. What is the problem? I feel so bad. And as a man, I suffered so much to raise my son up in a godly way. What did he do? He turned everything down. He has pushed me to the wall that I left with no other option. Down to this own him. Honey? Yes. You shouldn't say it that way. 
I believe he will change and come back to his senses. Then he will open the door. You don't need to stress yourself so much. Please, let's go back to sleep. Hmm? Honey. He has pushed me so far. So hard. I have no other option. I'm thinking, I'm beginning to think, is Jerry really my blood? <laughs> Jerry is not my blood. Please stop. Because I can't be like this. I will just owe him. You won't. Stop saying things like this. I beg of you. Jerry is going to become that person you want him to be. And things will change. Stop saying this. For how many hours? I've been knocking on my son's door. He refused to open the door. Decided to stay indoors with a girl. Hmm. Honey, all these things will come to pass. And we will have every cause to thank God. Stop thinking like this. You are stressing yourself so much. Let's go back to sleep, please. Come, come, come. My own house. Eh? He no longer cares for my happiness. Not to talk of the moms. No, no. Something is wrong somewhere. This is not my son. I hope this girl has not bewitched my son. I just don't want to hurt my wife, otherwise, I know what I should do. about our son. You can see they have determined to starve themselves to death. And if Jerry dies, we have no one to call our son. 
So I suggest we give them the little opportunity to get married. Hence, they love themselves. How could you be saying a thing like that? Do you put his future into consideration? Honey, it's only one who is alive that can be talking about future. It has already amounted to three days, three solid days. They have refused to eat. If anything should happen to our son, it will amount to our own foolishness. I suggest we swallow the pride and do their wish. Please, because they are not. Honey, this is a difficult decision to make, you know. I know you have a point here. But in a situation like this, we have nothing to do than to do this. Please, I beg of you. Because young. Hmm? Hmm. Hey. Why do you do this, boy? Please open the door. My wife and I have agreed that you marry the love of your life. Yes. Please open the door. Hello? Is somebody there? Yes, yes. We are serious. It's not a joke. You open the door, you marry the love of your life. Yes. Yes, my son. finally accepted um, these two, I mean our children, to marry themselves as husband and wife. <laughs> yes. Madam Jacinta, it's a collective decision yes. that we should allow love to lead. Yes. <laughs> That's why we are here. Allow love to lead. Yes. yes. To prevail. Yes. Exactly. Kona uh, Gakoshiba. <laughs> <laughs> It is very obvious. <laughs> it is obvious now. <laughs> Before you guys were trying to be partial somehow. But I can say it's obvious now. Eh? Hey. And uh, eh? also, I've decided to give my son the sum of 20 million <laughs> for him to start a new life. Oh, double him. And um, oh, him. I am going to sponsor. <gasps> The marriage from the traditional point of the marriage to the church wedding. It is highly obvious. It is highly obvious now. I can see. Anyway, Jeremiah. Thanks, Dad. Thanks for accepting to let me marry the woman I love so much. Thank you very much. Yes. Yeah. Thank you so much, Tisa. I really appreciate it. You're welcome. I appreciate it. Thank, Thank you, my daughter. Hey! Yes. You're welcome. I appreciate it. Let love lead. Mm. Exactly. Let, let love prevail. Lead. And hey. let this be a lesson to some parents who always want to force everything on their children. Mm. They might lose them. They might lose them. Allow them to take decisions sometimes for themselves. Yes. Mm. Yes. Um, um, Madam Jacinta, mm -hmm. uh, we want you to go to your kinsmen, your husband people, and tell them that we are coming in two weeks' time mm. to pay 
the dowry of my daughter in law. <laughs> and you can now call yourself my in law. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah,